my channel and that girl make it so today i just want to share a quick topic with you something quick something something easy and experience um i have guys um so if you're interested ensure you stick around and watch this video remember to like comment share and subscribe and hit the post notification bell to be notified of the next video post all right all right so let's jump into the video real quick all right so today really and truly what am i here to discuss all right so um the other day i made a video about this for my tiktok and basically what i was saying to persons that you know sometimes as christians you know we go through a rough season a rough patch a rough time where we feel like our faith in god is not strong we feel like his presence is not around us we feel weak we don't feel he's there but somehow you know we still find look of hope in a way we keep on praying and stuff but we still don't feel like he's there um sometimes it's just something that has us distracted that lets us feel like you know god is not there but sometimes it's even the devil trying to trick in you so he can find his way to see him so what i was sharing basically on that with them was that i remember i saw this quote that says pray hardest when it's hard to pray so sometimes you know it seems as if you can't pray it hard you, you, you know you get up in the morning you don't want to do your daily worship you don't want to pray you don't want to read your bible but as i said the devil is trying to fool you but you have to ensure that you stay in control of your destiny because remember you're now a christian you're out of the darkness now into the light you know god doesn't want you to go back into there because he has a purpose for your life and you're on a road you're on a mission to complete that purpose you can't afford to be distracted or even so you know forfeit that purpose that God has for you and I was looking at the quote and I was like that's so true you have to pray hard it's when it's hard to pray because as I said sometimes it's just the devil trying to sleep in trying to distract him and say all right God now we're good for you try something else for people you have to keep your faith strong it's not I must say the Christian journey is not an easy journey but it's definitely a walk that is surely going to be worth it it's your soul we're talking about you know so it have to be worth it it have to worth it um and next thing too was that i found myself worrying worrying i remember god never you know called for warrior stuff so i remember i came across this video on tiktok right so in the video it's as if the girl was saying that you know when you worship God, you're basically building a relationship with him. Cool. So in a relationship, communication is key, right? So when you basically go to worship God, you read your Bible, you might sing, and you pray. But sometimes we pray and we just get up and we don't wait for God to communicate back with us. And I was saying that it's so true. And she was saying that try something, you know, try one time you pray, you worship. Don't just get up, just try and create basically some quiet time some peace time and listen to god for us you really truly talk to him and funny thing i did that the other day and guys i must say the response i got was so amazing because i was worrying about so many things like i remember after i prayed i just i was still on my knees by my bedside as i usually be and i was there and the voice of god spoke to me it was so awesome he was telling me about the things i was worrying about he was like listen i'm proud of you my child i'm proud of how far you have came i'm proud of the things you are doing don't stop no stop worrying about your next move stop worrying about your next step stop worrying about um you know your family your friends stop worrying about the people that you're telling to come to you and they may not you know want to take what you're saying as important stop worrying about what you're gonna do basically because I will provide um, I remember there was a particular special day coming up um, the following week of that and I remember in the prayer God said to me said don't worry about it that day I'm going to give you something special on that day or a surprise something like that and so funny I really got a surprise on that day 
and I was just laughing and saying, you know, God, you're an engineer, you're so truly awesome. So we have to really give him thanks for the small mercies. We don't even know the things that he's blocking on a day-to-day -day basis that is sent from the, the enemy. And he has been keeping us. He's truly amazing. He just wants us to continue to, you know, make that connection, build that relationship with him stronger. Um, basically, give him all of you, make him use you. He will show you the way. Stop worrying, stop fret, just pray. And keep on reading the Bible, and it will surely do wonders in your life, God. Guys, so I'm, as I said, I'm not saying the Christian walk is easy, but it's really amazing and it's truly worth it. Another thing that I wanted to discuss was the other day I was at church, and you know, the pastor was preaching on the topic of, you know, you know, seeing that we had just went to a really rough year. 2020 was a year away, no far away. Never know could I make it true and yeah, God still provide and he brought us through it and it's like sometimes you just needed to relax and I was saying, you know that's true because I really like especially to the end part of 2020 based on my previous video I had went through a lot and I was like, you know, I really need some time, you know, time without the family, time without the baby, time without the husband, just time by myself. Because sometimes we're working so hard, we're doing so much things, we're just caught up in all of the bandits that we're we just really need a time, some quiet time with God, some quiet time for ourselves, a time to relax. But he was saying that ensure whatever your escape is, it doesn't get you to a worse situation than you were. So he said, try to find an escape. He, he was saying that, you know, his escape was his wife, you know. When he gets time, he normally go on vacation, go to a hotel, you know, go to a spa, spend a little day, you know, treat yourself. And I was saying that is so true because sometimes we there and we work so hard, we don't make no little time for ourselves, we want for insurance, especially as women and ladies. Wife, we, 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 we know, make time for ourselves. And we needed to start, he was saying that, you know, we need to start doing that because sometimes we don't make time for itself and then we get so caught up in all the things that's happening in our world, we forget, we neglect ourselves and then sometimes that's how the mental part go off. So, we have to make time for yourself and another thing he was pointing out to say whatever escape it is whether by you know getting a vacation or so ensure that the escape is something good it's not going to make you feel worse than it was before and i was thinking about that i say that's so true because there are some men or even women who believe that their escape may be alcoholism which now make it even better the situation even worse or even smoking so you have to know what you do. Take some time out for yourself. Try to find some alone time, but ensure it's not something that's going to make you worse or draw you far from God. So basically, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this really short video. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the post notification bell to be notified of the next video post. Remember to continue with your Bible. Believe in God. Have faith. You will do the things that. He has done for you the things he has bought to you and he will do it again. And remember Jesus coming is soon. So we have to stay upon the street and narrow. Alright. Remember God is love. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Bye.